Well, Nick, one, one last uh, topic I want to cover with you, because I think it is an important topic. You, you recently wrote about you know, patient deficit and information overload, and that's something that this community, there's a lot of information that, that they're managing. They've, they've got you know, a lot of uh, you know, requests from their clients, you know, requests from suppliers, you know, and just they're continuing trying to stay up on all the, all the complexities and challenges that, you know, that are in front of them. So talk a little bit about what patient deficit means and information overload means in, in yeah. today's world. Well, one thing that psychologists have learned and other people who research this is that we human beings aren't very good at regulating our intake of information. We seem to be natural information gatherers. And so the danger is that now that we all have uh, smartphones and tablets that are constantly connected to unlimited flows of information, we begin to spend all of our time glancing at our phone, taking in new information, and that crowds out the time available to engage in really deep, attentive thought. When you're not, uh, when you're not looking at a screen or following messages or Googling and so forth, but you're kind of shutting off the flow of information, taking the information you've gathered and thinking really deeply about that. And that requires a really attentive, focused mind. And it's becoming more and more challenging. We're, we're becoming more impatient because we expect, you know, you click a link, you get yeah. new information. Yeah. And so you become kind of uh, almost unwilling to, to, to slow down enough to engage in really deep thought. And it, it seems to me that that's a real problem, not only for business, but for society in general. We're kind of all losing our ability to be attentive. The good news is that if you can cultivate that ability, if, mm -hmm. if you can switch between modes of thinking uh, in which at one point you're sending out and receiving a lot of messages and gathering lots of information, then at different times you're quieting your mind, turning off the flow, and really being attentive, then that's going to give you a special kind of personal advantage over other people who aren't able to regulate their intake of new data and new information.